So Mike, tell me about this crazy Type 65 coupe. Well, this is my baby. She does 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds, 140 top out, holds three world records, costs two cents a mile to drive irresponsibly. Uh, I've been my daily driver for four years and set three world records. So you drive this guy on a daily basis? Yes. It is amazing every time I push the pedal. The car is very lightweight. It's 2,050 pounds as she's sitting right now. Um, drop dead sexy. As we all know, real women have curves, and so should your car. Um, we have the steering wheel removed for no purpose whatsoever other than to demonstrate it can be. We have three LCD monitors embedded behind the uh, plastic that come on to do navigation, gauging, and all of that wonderful stuff. Uh, 600 watt stereo system. Uh, the battery pack is 11 kilowatt hours of A123 batteries. Amazing for drag racing. We have, as you can see, our access OK passes that get us into the carpool lanes in California with just one driver, which doesn't come up that often, but twice has been right after someone cut me off, and it made me smile. How, how tough was it to get the, get the, the, the special license? California loves electric vehicles. I needed to do a quick inspection where they looked at it and said, no, I'm not going to pull the electric motor out as soon as it's registered and put a gas guzzler in. And uh, yeah, $20. <laughs> um, the car is based on the Factory 5 Type 65 Coupe. Uh, we've made no structural modifications. Clearly, we've got the battery pack mounted over the rear wheels for drag racing purposes. We also have our trailer hitch, which is to tow our uh, racing generator and tires. And uh, also my bicycle rack fits on there nicely for when I want to go to the nearby lake. So you tow with this? I actually tow with this, yes. Plenty of torque. Yes, uh, I towed 750 pounds. This is our uh, NHRA required uh, kill switch, external. Uh, they want to be able to shut everything down should any emergencies arise, and we fully appreciate that and adhere to all safety regulations. Um, we've got uh, some of our trophies and stuff in the front corner, but what's really fun... I love seeing what's under the hood of this. This, is, this, yes. this to me is the most this shocking is part. This how you do 0 to 60 in 2.9 in an electric vehicle. Hey mom, where's the motor? <laughs> The motor's right there. 1,300 foot-pounds of torque, about 300 horsepower at the wheels, which will outperform a 350 horsepower gasoline motor. Awesome, awesome. And, and quarter-mile times? Uh, well, we don't have a quarter-mile track near where we lived. Uh, we had damaged the motor when we ran a 12.8. As she sits, when we undamaged and tuned, it's probably an 11.9, and when we get the new motor, we're looking to be in the high tens. So right now you're running a, a, a Warp 11 motor? Yes, we are. Very easy for us to mount, nicely designed, and fit in the transmission tunnel. And what about charging time? The batteries we've tested in our uh, lab, which used to be my garage and is now our shop, can be charged in 10 minutes with no uh, adverse effects. Um, but realistically, I don't have that much power, so when we're charging with our uh, current waste charger and a dryer outlet. So it's 36 miles recovered for every hour plugged in. One of the problems we had with our original charger, it wasn't fully isolated. So if we were on 220, we had a bad habit of getting the crud sh shocked out of us. Um, there were some other things that we liked, would have liked in a charger and we worked with a company called LHV Power on uh, what we wanted out of a charger. and. Uh, they built it. Uh, they, you know, we've been testing it with them, and they are a partial sponsor of the car. This car is 2,050 pounds as she sits. That's, that's lighter than, than just about anything on the road right now. I think so. I mean, I'm not. Don't care what other people are. I just know I'm 250 pounds lighter than I would be with an aluminum block V8. So. And, and, and no exhaust, no gas no tank, exhaust. None, of, none of that. Exactly. None of that stuff.
getting this thing launched on the on the drag strip, there's no weight up front. What's it like keeping it straight? Uh, you know, we have the rear end dialed in pretty well with the uh, air ride suspension, so we launch, the rear end sinks about six inches, one of the front wheels lifts off the ground and the other one's touching just enough to steer. So it's absolutely perfect and fantastic. It's an exciting ride. It's, yes, it's an adrenaline high. The body is, is this is a, a factory five? This, yes, a factory five kit car. Uh, looks a lot like a 1965 Shelby Daytona, but clearly isn't. Did it take many modifications to the chassis? We made no structural modifications. We just, you know, cut off the existing motor mounts, made motor mounts for ourselves. Uh, in the transmission tunnel, we replaced some of their tubing with a little bit smaller tubing because we were a half inch shy at one spot. And we just made sure that we were four times as strong as the original. And so future plans, if someone comes to you and asks, could you build me one of these? Actually, we're about ready to announce we'll be uh, taking orders for 10 of them, limited production series of the Tusic Type 65 Coupe. So, so if I have the coin, I can come to you and say, six months, can you give me one in British Racing Green? Absolutely. Uh, the only thing is there's an extra $500 surcharge for pink. You're going to need to know your height and weight, and we're going to build the car to you, and if you usually have a passenger, them as well. Very cool. Custom, custom? Full custom. It's the only way to go in a race car. Good stuff. Well, good luck in the X-Class. Thank you very much.